Hello guys. I'm Monica and I haven't read a single book this month because I'm really, really sad. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And as you can see, it's still rainy, so we've got the candle going, which I hope will not burn any of my books or my bookshelf, which has already been burned once. So you know what? I think we're going to move it a little bit so it doesn't burn everything. There we go. Did I already say hello, Mon hello guys, I'm Monica. Yes, I did. Um, this is a hard video to make. Um, I have a feeling, I think everybody has this feeling that on booktube you have this idea where everything is aesthetic and wonderful and we all love to read books and we're just happy and every month I'm gonna have a 10 book wrap up and be like, I was in a slump, I didn't read anything. Uh, but the truth is, this month I really don't feel like reading anything. For those of you that missed it, um, this month I lost not one. Oh, there it goes. Sorry if you hear my windows. It's like windy. <laughs> um, not one, but two family members, and it's been really rough on me. And I'm having a understandably hard time. And nothing that I want to do involves reading. In fact, all I want to do lately is sleep. And I want to tell you, like, I, the, the whole reason I'm making this video is to tell you that if you're not feeling well, and if you're not feeling like reading, you don't have to. And that's okay. I know that it seems, and that we make it seem here on booktube like, you have to be reading constantly and reading is an escape and how wonderful it is to read and and if you're not reading then you know you're kind of not enjoying other worlds and you know and other and maybe that's true for some people maybe maybe for some people reading can be a wonderful escape from real life and maybe reading can help them overcome certain things and maybe not. And maybe sometimes you just don't feel like reading. And that is me at the moment. And I was like having anxiety over this. Like what am I going to do with my booktube channel if I'm not reading 15 books this month? And what am I going to say at the end of the month? And you know what? I'm taking the moment now to tell you that fuck that shit. Fuck it. I, I still have things to say about books. I still have things to say about books that I read years ago. And I still want to be a part of this community even if right now my emotional state isn't the best that it has ever been. So what? So what if I'm depressed and down? Isn't that what you're supposed to be when people you love go away? And um, I always resented, I think, this idea that to be on booktube you have to have a certain personality. And you kind of do have to have a certain personality. And I keep thinking about a certain booktuber that went through a lot, that went through cancer and stuff like that. I'm not going to say the name. You can speculate whoever it is. But um, and I remember that they were always happy in their videos and they didn't discuss how they were feeling, and that is how that person chose to deal with their situation. What is that? Bitches, that was thunder. Back after that thunder break. But anyway, um, that's how that booktuber chose, or those booktubers, because there was more than one, chose to deal with the situation. They chose to be just happy and be their normal self and you know go on with their book to life and not show that and I think that that is so admirable but that is not me I I I I am really sad I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry in this video but I am really really sad and that's okay and it's not aesthetic and I am not an aesthetic person. I pride myself in this channel with being real. And, and not that, that, that being happy isn't being real. It's just that this is how I'm experiencing my situation. And I want you to know 
that if you are having a hard month and maybe you're not even sad maybe you haven't lost anyone maybe I'm, i keep thinking my books are gonna get on fire okay they're not um maybe you haven't lost anyone maybe you haven't lost your job maybe you're just having a slumpy month maybe you're just having a hard time i'm here to tell you that that's okay and it's okay that you're not reading it's really fine like i tried to read a comic book this weekend and i just couldn't i just can't right now but you know what that doesn't mean that i don't have anything to say that doesn't mean that this channel is just automatically going to die that's like saying like a beauty guru doesn't wear makeup for a while and that means that their entire channel is over it just means that sometimes we need some time and the more the more i was forcing myself to read in order to meet some stupid goal that i set for myself the less i wanted to read and the more i resented reading so don't do that to yourself don't don't feel like this is anything but what it is and that is a hobby and the moment that you don't want to do it you just don't want to do it and that's okay i mean it might be difficult to have a booktube channel if you haven't read in over a year but it might not you can still read you can still talk you have no idea how much i want to talk about the monstrumologist and the um flowers in the attic and night film and, and and all of these books down here that you that you haven't seen i haven't even talked about the shadow children and you can do tags and you can do other things and here's the thing you don't have to appear happy in your videos i automatically i think i, I appear happy and that's okay because i feel happy filming i really enjoy filming like you guys have no idea how much this is like a oh, for me like like I don't have to think about other things except books which is the thing that I love and um, it's great it really is great so I just just want to tell you that it's okay for you not to read sometimes that it's okay for you to say not this month whatever there is 11 other months left maybe next month i'll be back to reading 20 books maybe not maybe i'll be in a slump for six months who knows i mean i i, I hate this idea that to be a booktuber you have to be either aesthetic or happy because no at least in my world you don't you don't have to be either of those things you can admit to not being okay and you don't have to be aesthetic even though not gonna lie i kind of think my shelves look at pretty aesthetic right now no. you know i dress them up i still have to do that bookshelf tour <laughs> but yeah um i don't know why i felt like making this video i guess because i see so many people not admitting to their unhappiness like if being unhappy was an undesirable trait i mean it is undesirable nobody wants to be unhappy but it's something that happens sometimes shit happens sometimes we feel bad and i have seen so many booktubers walk away from booktube because they don't feel they're happy enough for it or stuff like that i'm not talking about like for your mental health like if if booktube is giving you anxiety then you know you should probably walk away but if booktube still makes you happy but you don't feel like you have the booktube persona i'm here to say that you can i can't do the finger but you can put the finger up my door is scaring the hell out of me but you can put your finger up at that and say you know what i'm not happy but booktube still makes me happy so there you go yeah that's pretty much it uh i was gonna say that i'm sorry that these weeks these week this week's videos are not focused on books per se but focused more on like other stuff but you know what i'm not sorry <laughs> so you get no apology <laughs> oh guys you have no idea how much booktube 
makes me happy and how much it makes me like forget all of the stress and annoyance of my real life and there's a lot of stress and annoyance in my real life right now that I don't want to think about because I'm gonna cry <laughs> but when I think about you guys and when I think about both I feel better so I'm gonna keep going even if I have to like do only a week of tags <laughs> you know um, because I really don't want to read right now because it's not bringing me joy and you know what Mary Kondo says if something's not sparking joy chuck it out and right now I gotta chuck reading out the window because if I read sad books then it makes my sadness worse and if I read happy books I get like angry because I want to be happy. <sighs> and I'm going to be happy again. And it's going to be fine. But right now, I'm going to give myself some grace and some time. And you're going to get a lot of shit. <laughs> you're going to get a lot of shitty videos. And uh, I'm cool with that. I hope you guys are cool with that too and I mean it I, I I I know a lot of us say like the numbers don't matter but the numbers totally matter and sometimes I'm scared that I'm gonna lose subscribers and stuff like that but in the end I think about it and I'm like you didn't have any subscribers before so I don't even know where this video is going anymore so thank you thank you for listening to me if you've made it this far I'm sorry if you couldn't make it this far but I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you and that booktube really makes me happy and I want to keep doing it even if I'm not reading right now which I'm not so uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna keep trying but at the moment I just really think that I need a break from reading not from booktube and I have read more than, enough. I've read a hundred books this year, guys. I have a lot of talk to talk about. So <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, I bid you adieu. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys.